back to the Sunday special, and let's read Hellboy. And today on Let's Read Hellboy, we've got the Wolves of St. August. So let's dive into that. Father Kelly and Hellboy, Saybrook, Connecticut, 1961. 1994. Gerard, a tiny village in the Balkan of in the Balkans of Eastern Europe. I hear this stranger, this priest has gone up to the old chapel. He shouldn't go up there, I'm telling you. Oh, Mama, I think it would be lovely. I'm so tired of going down to Poitou. It's such a long walk, and the road is so awful. Hush, girl, there are... Things are the way they are, the way they should be. They should always be for us. No one remembers the last time the church bells rang in Gerard. And no one wants to remember. This new priest has come upon us like a judgment. God save us from the past. Uh, priest. Hey, you startled me, friend. Hope you're not here. Hope you're here to clean up this mess. How could people let this happen to a house of God? Shame. Still, nature has given the place a kind of beauty. So it's true what the people are saying. You plan to start. You plan to say mass here. It is almost Easter. And it is almost Easter. If you'll give me a hand, I think we can get this place in some kind of order by then. You wouldn't by chance have a couple of other bro a couple of brothers. Go away, priest. Go home. God is not here. He is done with this place. Oh, you're wrong, my friend. Sometimes maybe his voice grows a little faint. Well, then you just you just have to learn listen a little harder. He never abandons us. Tweet, tweet goes the bird. See? No one comes here. No one comes here. Do you know why? Uh, no. Come with me. Learn something. You know this is a private chapel of the Grenier family. And no one seems to know much about that family, do they? They ruled uh, the area a long time ago, and now they're all gone. That's all I could find out. Nine out of ten people I asked right here in the village didn't even recognize the name. Why doesn't anyone come here? Murder. The villagers trapped them in this chamber, the entire royal family, the retainers, children. They were spitted upon iron, sp iron pikes so their deaths would be slow and torturous. And when the attackers became bored with the sport, they took axes and cut their bodies apart. Look here. Duke Henry Ke Grandi... <sighs> Uh, Duke Henry Grenier, the Lady Claudia, their bodies gathered up and laid to rest in secret by the only servant to escape the slaughter, the hunchback Yargo. Look! Look! See the consumption of his wrath! Lord have mercy! Not much! Looks like the retainer has turned into a werewolf. Or a wolf, at least. <clears throat> Gerard, nine days later. 167 dead. Oh, wait. I have no idea who's talking here. Ah, uh, ba da ba 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 
Well, I have no idea who's talking here. 167 dead. That's every man, woman, and child in town, all killed in one night. Uh, victims were all killed roughly at roughly the same time, roughly the same way. All victims except one found in their homes, most in or near the bed. No sign of forced entry, which is real and consistent with the brutality of the killings. Condition of the bodies would seem to indicate the killer was a large, carnivorous animal. Uh, oh, okay, so it's Hellboy that's talking. God damn it. Well, I'm not redoing it. Hellboy just has a really smooth voice for Hellboy for this uh, part. India, 57. New Guinea, 59. India again, 82. Oh, wait. You make it sound so routine. I've researched cases like this, but I guess you've seen them. India, 57. New Guinea, 59. India again, 82. This one's worse. Hellboy, renowned, world-renowned occult investigator, field agent for the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense since 1952. I hate this. It's a weird mass killing like this doesn't just happen. In every case I've ever heard of, the place has always had some kind of ugly history. Witchcraft or cult activity, cemetery problems, something. And uh, apparently their per person is a woman. Been doing her wrong too, sorry. Nothing here. I've been checking the regional history since you called. Not only could I not find anything, uh, apparently the papal the <clears throat> Not only could I not find anything, apparently the papal inquisition couldn't find anything. Those bast those bastards could find the devil anywhere. Not here. No secular witch or werewolf trials either. Not one single published report of supernatural phenomena. In this neighborhood, unheard of. Red flag number one. Dr. Kate Corrigan, a professor of the, at the New York uh, University, author of 16 books on folklore and occult history, including The Confessions of Isabel Goody, Gu oh no, Guodi, uh, consultant to the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense since 1984. Red flag number two. I can't find any mention of the village of Gerard before 1326. Now, some of this town looks older than 14th century, and that place is definitely older. Chateau Garnier, home, of the old, <coughs> home to one of the old ruling families. It's been empty as long as anyone can remember. That's where they found the priest. That's where they found the priest? Yeah, most of him. According to the constable in uh, Pitu, he was uh, sort of spread around in here. Horrible. No one took photos? No, the whole police end of this thing feels like a rush job. <clears throat> Clean up the mess and get out. All the victims are uh, in the ground, and there's talk of bulldozing the whole town. The locals just wanted to go away. You knew him, didn't you? Father Edward Kelly. Yes, I did. Toughest guy I ever worked with. He did a 12-day exorcism together. <coughs> Sorry. We did a 12-day exorcism together last year in Phoenix. Almost cost him an eye. This town has no church. You know that... Do you know how odd that is for this area of the world? Yep. And Father Kelly was killed up here. You think he might have been planning to hold services here? Maybe. Or maybe he knew something stunk and he was worked. He was poking at it. Is that what got him killed? Is that what got everyone killed? Man, I want to get a swing at whatever did this. <clears throat> and the plaque on this statue says St. August. And she says, the wolves of St. August. 
I've got something for you, Hellboy. If I'm Brian, this, this town has an ugly little secret. Great. We need something. In 1214, a monk, Philip uh, Bayou, returning from, his, from a pilgrimage, stumbled across a little village called St. August. A bell was ringing at the castle uh, in the center of town, and so he moved by the sound of it that he had to... And so moved... He was so moved by the sound of it that he had to pay his compliments to the royal family. He led himself into the castle's chapel and found the whole family praying at an altar set up in front of a cross. An image of the devil in set up in front of the cross, an image of the devil, Antichrist. Actually, it was probably one of the old fertility gods. Well, Philip goes wild. He wrecks the place and curses everyone there, even unto the smallest child. Every seventh year, you shall take the shape... <clears throat> Every seventh year you shall take the shape of a wolf and get food by fanged claw, and your reason shall remain human to better know the horror of your punishment. They changed, but managed to keep a secret. Seven years later, they weren't so lucky. The villagers caught them in their wolf forms and killed them. A pamphlet titled Wolves of St. August was published in Paris in 1332. By then, I think the town had already changed its name to Gerard. To dodge the Inquisition. Right. Published the, the published story didn't name the royal family, only the town. The Inquisition would have been on a place called St. August in a second, and, you know, what would mean... In a, uh, would have been on a place named Saint uh, called St. August in a second, and you know that would have mean that what that would mean trials, forced confessions, public executions. Can't blame people for not for wanting to avoid that. You notice the ruined tower in this place. I think there was a bell tower here. I think the villagers destroyed it on purpose because it was a detail in the story. While they were at it, they should have covered up the carvings of St. August in the other room. A dead giveaway. Good job. What have you got there? Blood. Dry, not too old. Nine days would be just about right. Father Ed was dragged from somewhere down here into there. Then he was torn up and tossed around. Symbolic gesture, maybe? <coughs> Good thing the locals did such a lousy job cleaning up. Now I'd be wasting my breath if I asked you to wait here and look while I take a look around. Excuse me? Excuse me? Who's been after me for six years to do some real investigating? Who was that? Uh, that was me. What the hell is that? A giant gun? I'm trying to get modern. Yeah, but can you hit anything? I'm getting better. Be careful in here. The floor is none too stable. Hey, is that crack about my weight? Oh, no. Hey, is that a crack about my weight? Crack. Bat goes flapping around. Katie! Whoa! Shit. Oh, no. Shit! Hang on, kid. I'm coming for you. And she falls. Kapow. Down onto the ground. <laughs> Little girl, what are you doing here? I am awake. I... I cannot sleep, and I cannot go to heaven. Why does God hate me? Oh, sweetie, no, but... Oh, sweetie, no, nobody hates you. He does. He made me this. She stifles a sob. Katie, you okay? 
Sorry, my first ghost. Rough way to start. Are you sure you're okay? Go away, please. The others will hurt you when the sun goes down. He will make them hurt you. He? Do you have your gun? Dropped it. Where's yours? Um. Oh, good. And we're, oh, good. And we're screwed now. Think real hard, Katie. Is there any more of that wolf story of yours? Any little details you might have left out? As not that popular a story, only seen print twice that I know of, in the 1332 original and then in Ghost Perry, uh, Ghost Perry Growl book, in the, in the Ghost Perry Growl book, uh, Ugel Damerlich in 1409. You know, Growl's version is a little different, and he did claim that one of the children survived, a boy, William, struggled out of the castle, smuggled out of the castle by a servant. That helps. Well, I'm getting you out of the hell out of here now. Don't argue with me. Move. Damn. Back this way. There's another way out. Damn. They're just standing. Oh, they're just standing there. Why don't they attack us? There to keep us from getting away. Wait, why? We're being set up for the real deal. William Grenier. That's crazy. If he was ever real, he'd be 800 years old. Listen to me. How is that any weirder than the stuff you've already seen today, right? Right. You've got to try to, to go with what's happening here. We're in some real trouble. But do what I tell you, <coughs> and you'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not some dumb kid. I, I know about this stuff, but it's different when you read about it. Relax. Catch your breath. You'll be fine, Hellboy. Ed! God damn! Help me! Help me, please! He's trapped here just like the others. I've seen this before. Jesus! I have revenged myself on that name! And the house of Grenier belongs again to Grenier. It's that? Yeah. William Grenier, you wiped out at this whole town. Kill the priest. You've come to settle your old score, and I'm going to settle it with you. <clears throat> but first, you're holding the spirits prisoner here. You're done with them. Let them go. I am such, I am much sinned against. I don't give a shit what you are. This is your own family. Let him go. Do it. I have endured the change once every seven years down through the long centuries. Can you imagine the pain? Better the iron spike and the wheel, the hook and the sword. Better death than this. Each time more of the creature remains until I am a man. Till it is man. Until all that all that is man is the skin. Thin skin. Is this thin skin, damn it? I say now, finally, it is that this place and the hour... I say now, finally, th that this play, that this is the place and the hour of the beast. 
And the beast is me! So he tears the flesh off of his werewolf form. Big! Way, way too big! You wait right here. I'll be back in a minute. Gotta do what I gotta do. Boom! Boom! Ah! End of the road for you, Grenier. Boom! Grenier no more! Only beast! Beast! <clears throat> I don't care if you're a goddamn fish. You're going down. You hear me? Ugh! Clock. Mother. Hellboy? Kate! Get the hell out of here! <coughs> Mother? What will become of us? Hush, baby. Close your eyes. <coughs> Listen. Uh, okay, I don't know who's doing this monologue. Listen, once a man kept a wolf in his stomach, and the wolf slowly ate him from the inside out, and finally the, the wolf grew. Finally, the shell of the man could no longer contain the wolf. Come on, you son of a... Careful. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Rah! Oh, thud. Ah, uh, hey, thud. Ah, uh, you can do a lot better than that. <coughs> Come get. Uh, you can do a lot better than that. He rips the head off of a statue. Get me! Crack! Ah! Hellboy, why even carry a gun with a pitching arm like that? What kind of a sick bastard are you? You don't kill those people in town. You, you didn't kill those people in town. You got your family stirred up and made them do it, didn't you? So what kind of nerve did that priest step on? Because you sure as hell killed him. Mistake. He was a friend of mine. Whack, whack, whack. Whack. Prang. I guess right about now, you wish you'd kept your skin on. Punch. Swack. I hope that hurt. Mm, I am tired. Bird chirping again. Wow, that was something. In a follow-up investigation, the Bureau team of... Uh, of physical and trace mediums failed to detect any trace of Father Edward Kelly or the assorted Grenier's in the Ch Chateau Grenier. On May 29, 1944, Dr. Isar Hoffman officially declared the site clear. BPRD. The village of Grenier, St. August, or Gerard, St. August, remains uninhabited. The end. Well, thanks for joining us for another Sunday special. I hope you come back next week for more. Ooh, ooh, ooh.